Hello everybody, welcome to the Peace Security Channel. Today I'll be doing a test on Trend Micro Titanium Maximum Security Package, which is the highest uh, form of security software offered by Trend Micro. So let's open it up and let's see how their user interface looks like. Now this version 2013, um, we'll do a check for program updates. And meanwhile, let's take a look at the interface. Now, this is the basic interface. You can do your scans right from here. And you can see already there are no new updates. You can do your scans if you go into advanced settings. Now, we'll get through them in a while. And you can check your statistics as well. You can go to the security re report and you can check that out. Now, other than that, you can go to PC and internet security and you can get an Android security trial and you've got your privacy data data theft prevention okay so this is like an encryption service and then you've got the trend micro vault the secure arrays and the parental control. So that's basically it. Now let's go through some of the advanced settings here. Now by default it scans for threats when opening, saving, or downloading files. And it checks programs to make checks if programs try to make unauthorized changes to the system. And it prevents programs from portable drives to, uh, from launching automatically. Now it also checks suspicious computer behavior. Now this is kind of like a behavior blocker. Now it has two levels, recommended and hypersensitive. So in recommended it detects and stops security threats based on clearly risky behavior. So what I'll do when I'll be doing the zero day test, I'll run the first part of the test with the default settings. And in the second part, if it doesn't do very well, I may turn this up to hypersensitive depending on whether or not it works. I mean, let's say I don't get to see a single alert. Then I'm going to change it to hypersensitive and we'll try the threats uh, again. Now, web threats, now this set to normal. And uh, you can set it to high if you want or to low, depending on what you want. Now, I'll leave it in normal. And then we've got spam and email files, network, it has a firewall booster, doesn't entirely offer a firewall of its own. And it's got instant messaging protection and exceptions, of course. So that's the way I'll leave it. No settings have been changed. It's all in stock settings. So let's get started with the test. First, the memory usage. Now, Trend Micro have... Uh, reduced their RAM usage from what I could see. I mean, right now it's using 80 megs, but I'm pretty sure I saw it a lot lower just a few, a little bit while ago. Right now maybe it's gone up because I was using their user interface. Anyway, I'll do one more check at towards the end of the test, but it doesn't really seem to be slowing down the system. So first of all, we've got uh, some dynamic executable malware. Let's try them out and see how Trend Micro protects us. Be giving my grades as usual. So this is the first uh, piece of malware. thing this known as some ASD prevention. And it got blocked by the web blocking. So that's pretty nice. Second one's a piece of adware, MediaGet, pretty popular adware. And it should be caught. It's by quite a lot of engines and this thing got caught and it got removed now the software does seem very simplistic so it's good for novice users this one also got caught by the website blocking facility here are some more trojans I'm sure there are a couple of them here that are pretty low detection rate like this one now this is a cloud-based antivirus. And looks like 
this one got blocked because it's suspicious so I don't think it's going to let this file run okay again so I'll just hit uh, delete this time get rid of it so let's try the next one okay this one will probably not run because it got blocked so this one also got cut by the web blocking and this one also got blocked so six out of six for the first part okay I forgot to change this one just give me a second here okay so trend micro got six out of six in the first part so let's continue here now I've got two black hole exploits see if they get blocked this one's caught by the website blocking the website blocking seems to be pretty good and this one also got caught so that's great now let's check out if they can protect us against these two phishing websites both are PayPal fishes oh this one's caught by Internet Explorer, but I'll proceed anyway because I want to make sure that Trend Micro is able to block it. Doesn't seem like it's going to block it. Nope. So Trend Micro didn't catch that one. I mean, they have a toolbar. Let's check out the settings. Okay, so it's the same one over here. So I really don't know. This one doesn't seem to be blocked because I didn't get anything from Trend Micro. It was caught by Internet Explorer. Okay, this one got caught by Trend Micro as well. So let's see if I try to bypass this. You can see this one got caught. But the previous one didn't get caught. So it caught one out of the two phishing websites. So here it's two out of two, but it just missed one file, so its total result is nine out of ten, which means an A grade. Now that's pretty good. So now let's move on to static malware. I've got one hundred and one zipped piece of malware here. I'll just disable protection. Now I know one hundred and one is not uh, a very high amount to test the detection rate I know that's very small and it's more like hit and miss but I'm just trying to get an idea and I am going to compare the detection rate with Komodo and try to figure out where, where exactly I mean Trend Micro is going I mean towards the top towards the bottom somewhere in the middle that's all I want to find out I'm not using this exact detection rate to compare with any other security suite so I guess 101 is enough to just give us an idea of where they're at. So I'll let this thing scan. Now I know this is a cloud scan and I know this is going to most probably take forever. Because uh, I know their scanner is pretty slow. So just give me a moment here. I'll pause and I'll be back when the scan is done. Welcome back everybody, the scan just completed. It did take a long time and uh, this was just a scan of 100 files and that took quite a while. So if you're like scanning thousands of files you might run into a lot of trouble. At least with the kind of internet that I'm using but uh, it may depend on that because this is a cloud based antivirus but uh, I'm still not pleased at all with the scan speed because I've tested other cloud AVs on this machine with the same connection and they all did a lot better than this. I mean this is a very slow scan. So anyway let's uh, get to the important stuff. It seems to have missed 32 items and we had, we had 101. I 
and that gives us a detection rate of 68.3 percent let me just recheck that once again like Yep, that's 68.3% and that is pretty disappointing. I mean, that's not a great detection rate by no means. I know, again, some of you might say that 100 piece of malware is not enough, but I've been checking them up through, through the times and they've never really had a very good detection rate. Uh, I scanned the same folder with Komodo and I think it got a detection rate of 84%, 84 point something. And that's uh, a lot better than what Trend Micro managed. So it's still, I mean, towards the low end of detection ratios. So anyway, now I'll re-enable the protection. So now you can see it's uh, it says we're protected again. Now let's see what kind of protection. Okay, let me just... Uh, So it managed only 68 point some percent. Give it 69. And that's going to be certainly a great C. It's not impressive by no means. I mean, you have to get into the 70s at least. So now let's go to unknown malware infection prevention capabilities. And for that, and uh, yeah. These are what the grades mean in case you want you need to look at this. So it's re enable now. Let me run some of these and see if can if it can prevent uh the infections. Okay. Suspicious software blocked sus successfully. So looks like there I don't know how this was Cut. Okay, detected resource process ID right virtual memory. Hmm, now that's interesting. So I'm not exactly sure uh, why this got blocked, but it looks like it's the behavior blocking. So that's good to see. Here's another piece of malware. Let's see if Trend Micro can deal with this. As I said, if I see very few alerts, I will change the behavior blocker to hypersensitive and see if that gives us any better protection. Okay, this one's also suspicious and it got blocked. So right now it seems to be blocking some and missing some. So let me go to the settings and take them to max. That is hypersensitive. And now let's see how the rest of the test goes. I mean if it blocks any more malware. Some of these are like different variants of the same kind of malware. So. Here's something that shouldn't be here. So right now behavior blocker set hypersensitive and it still doesn't seem to be doing a lot more than you know the normal one. So I guess that's it. I won't run any more. And now I'll just uh, give the system some time to get infected nicely. 
so that these piece of malware right now they're running in memory okay looks like something else got cut the file contained malicious software so it has been deleted so I'll wait for a while and then you can see there's a ton of stuff running in memory right now so I'll wait and then I'll reboot the machine and we'll see what's left over now the computer just rebooted and uh, Trend Micro seems to have caught some other stuff as well right now the behavior blocker remember is at hypersensitive so it's probably going to block more stuff and uh, so it looks like something got terminated in the background so now I will delete these piece of malware looks like I can't do that so I'll have to open up kill switch remove these then I'll run CCleaner and then I'll do a scan with Norton Power Racer and I'll be back with the results welcome back Norton Power Racer just finished scanning and as you can see it's found quite some stuff here we have got three startup items now that's not good to see at all and uh, a registry key so what I'll do now this thing can be repaired so let's change some system settings so I'll just fix this and then I'll do a scan with Malwarebytes and I'll be right back Malwarebytes just finished scanning and it looks like it's found one object and that's a backdoor bot that's pre uh, registry key so we'll just remove that and then lastly I will do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll show you guys the results Hitman Pro just finished scanning and looks like it's found a Trojan uh, trace in documents. So, system certainly was infected. So yeah, it just blocked some, missed some. So I'm going to give it limited for unknown malware infection prevention capabilities. And so the grade is going to be B and finally the performance and usability well I haven't really noticed any kind of slowdown other than the very long scan that I think shouldn't have been that long other than that you can see it's dropped to 37 now and it's hovering at about 40 megs or 42 whatever you'd like to call it and uh, that's not too heavy for a complete suite so I'll give it an A for performance and uh, the main reason for that is not that uh, the RAM usage is low, RAM usage is moderate but it hasn't really affected system uh, usability. Now about the usability I think it has a pretty decent interface you can use it pretty much very easily and it's it doesn't give you any confusing alerts it's very good for the novice user so I'll certainly give it an A for that so an A for usability but the overall grade is going to remain B I guess and that's because it got a C here in malware detection rate and a B in unknown malware infection prevention capabilities so certainly not the most impressive performance but uh, it's not the worst either you could consider this but seriously it's I mean there's better stuff out there and especially because this is a paid security product so I'd seriously look elsewhere but didn't do too bad so that's that's it for this review hope you guys enjoyed it these are the grades so you can see I mean it just finished a little bit below average so that's it for this video have a nice day and I'll talk to everybody later